What's up, guys? This is Oddzar here bringing you guys my week five match of the IBA. This week we are facing Nick, coach of the Texas Tyrantrums. His He's already known as Reckless Bat, and you can see his team down the, uh, down below. Um, by the way, thank you, Shadow, for the idea. I just haven't been able to implement this until now. I'm going to be probably doing something similar uh, to this every week with just the team name, the coach, and all of his mons on the very bottom. Uh, but just let's list all of his mons off. He has Zygarde, fifty percent Weavile, Keldeo, Metagross, Togekiss, Decidueye, uh, Electros, Seismic Toad, Mega Charizard Y, Garbodor, and Miss Magius. But let's just go into this. And his Z users, before I forget, is Weavile, Zygarde, fifty percent, and Keldeo. But anyways, let's just get on with the team builder, right? Right. There, there's a team builder there the entire time, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, this is the team I brought. I brought Volcarona, Medcham, uh, Serena, Tapu Koko, Lando, Therian, and Milotic. And um, the, uh, my uh, my Volcarona set it was a uh, Grass EMZ, Giga Drain with uh, Flamethrower, Quiver Dance, and Roost. This was so I think it was able to live any hit from Zygarde and be able to outspeed it, and I was able to, I think, Oko it with a Giga Drain. I never did actually use use it for that situation, but it, it was useful in the match. I also had Mega Metacham here with Rock Slide Drain, Punch, Bullet Punch, and Fake Out. Uh, fake Out just to fake something out, get some chip damage, just to get a little bit of priority, and then the uh, main thing was a little, little um, useful was Rock Slide and then Drain Punch. Oh wait, I remember now. Uh, dr uh, Bolt Punch plus Fake Out, I think killed uh, one of his mons, if I'm not mistaken. I think it killed... Uh, it had a, I think it had a chance to kill uh, Zard Y, if I'm not mistaken. And it was... No, it was for the Weavile. That's what it was. It was for the Weavile. I could Fake Out and then uh, uh, Bolt Punch killing the Weavile. That's what it was. And I gotta let my dog out really quickly. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mega Me Me Cham. Uh, this is just a basic set, making it max speed so it can speed tie with the Charizard Y. Also, um, doing some damage to it along the way. But, yeah, basic set. But, uh, the only thing is I just added Rock Slide just to cover the uh, Charizard Y and also the Togekiss. I probably should have done, uh, Thunder Punch, but I d I'll never know if it, it would have mattered. Um, but, yeah, I do have Serena here with Synthesis. Uh, U turn, rapid spin, and trop kick. Um, this is this is just a mainly used for spinner because I do have Volcarona. I does not like rocks. If he sets up rocks, I do have to play around that and be able to get Volcarona in freely. So there's that, and then basic set with max defense, max HP, with leftovers, and then queenly magic. I don't think he really has anything with priority, but it is still the best ability out of the other three, but let's go on to Coco. He has U-Turn, uh, Thunderbolt, D-Gleam, and Grass Knot. Um, I Grass Knot for the, uh, for quite a few things, like, uh, Zygarde, I think, does decent damage to Keldeo. It does a lot of damage to, it also does, uh, uh, it kills Seismic Toad, and I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, but it still does quite a bit of work to his team. Uh, he uh, I also have Dazzling Gleam for like 90% of his team. The only switch into really for uh, D Gleam is uh, uh, Metagross. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I guess Decidueye might be as well. And then probably Electros. Other than that, he doesn't have too many switch ins to uh, D Gleam. Hit my, uh, the next move is Thunderbolt, just an o obvious move that you put on him. It does a lot of work to his team, like, uh, you know, just all the basic bombs that Mons, like, have been repeating, like Charizard, uh, Togekiss, uh, Keldeo, uh, Zygarde, no, not Zygarde, that, that's what D-Gleam's for. But yeah, that that is uh, Coco now. Uh, Lando is my next Mon with Stealth Rocks, Earthquake, Stone Edge, and U-Turn. He is uh, has enough speed investment to barely outspeed... Uh, Weave out. At least if he doesn't right now, he did during the battle. It was prep for that. I had to find an old team to do this because I kind of lost all my saved showdown battles or sh showdown teams. So this is the team I was uh, 
given it was at least an older rendition so i'm assuming this is right um but yeah just uh stealth rocks to get stealth rocks up for uh, i think crucial damage for volcarona and crucial damage for coco I, I think they were like close to killing something but with rocks it was a guarantee um and it, i think it also helps with lando killing with stone edge on a few mods and killing with earthquake as well uh great coverage and it helped a lot during this match um with my Lotic, I have Mirkoat, uh, Skull, Recover, and Ice Beam. With the Rindo Berry, this is a main counter to uh, the Charizard Y. Even though it has Solar Beam, I know that's why I have to literally spam uh, Mirkoat every time it's out there. I'm not chancing it. It's just not going to happen. But that is my set, and we'll just cut right over into the battle. Alright, we're back here with the battle. I am battling Reckless Bat here, and he brought Zygarde. Um... Megros, uh, Togekiss, uh, Weavile, Keldeo, and Charizard. Charizard's fairly obvious, Me uh, Megros is fairly obvious, and Zygarde were the three I knew were coming. Weavile, I thought, was coming because maybe Pursuit Shenanigans, because I do have, uh, like, two Psychic types on my team. And Mega, Mega Man Jam does not have the best, like, priority moves. It has Fake Out, Vacuum Weight, and uh, Bolt Punch. I think that's it doesn't get too much other than that so weavile is pretty safe so but i did bring the fake out and bull punch to hopefully kill it i think it had a chance with rocks i think that's another reason why i had rocks um yeah serena just a spinner and then i, I kind of already set my team but uh, anyways let's just get on into this because i keep talking uh right i bring out lando i just want rocks up i don't think this thing can do much to me but one thing about this is uh, it's not switching to uh, Zygarde any or uh, Charizard anymore, which I'm fine with. I just bring out rocks. He does a Dragon Tail popping me out. I go it goes into Coco. Like I was like, should I go for a D Gleam? Should I not? And I decided against it because two reasons. Um, one, it doesn't kill no matter what, and for two, I seen Dragon Tail. Why would I go out onto a D Gleam when he? drag me out i go out into serena it eats up the thousand arrow damage regains most of his hp back and he does decides to switch out into togekiss i just click u-turn thinking like he's not switching it he's not staying in i'm free to do this i go out into coco and then just click t-bolt nothing really wants to take it besides zygarde and he would not risk a uh, d-gleam switch in he was assuming d-gleam i just like i was just like all right i'm gonna click what's in front of me and i'll be fine and I was right. I, I'm glad I did the right prediction there. So there's that. I, I go back out into Serena predicting the Zygarde to switch in because it's not going to uh, allow two T-Volts. And he doesn't know that uh, Coco is scarfed or not yet. Okay, so uh, Serena comes out. I just click U-turn again because I, I liked my U-turns. I was predicting the uh, Charizard to come out because I was a massively afraid of that thing but he decides to go out into uh, Zygarde and then I decide to alright I'm just going to flamethrower I was predicting um, this thing I out of the moves I had I think flamethrower did the most I had bug buzz and then giga drain no wait no I had giga drain uh, I, don't, I don't remember but uh, none of my moves could really hit it and I wanted some chip on the Charizard at least to do something maybe i think uh if i did f i don't know i think it was a mid-ground play because if uh Megros came in it killed it if weavile came in i think it killed it um and i don't think he'd really bring a weavile in on a volcarona but still i think i was kind of predicting the keldeo or the one of these two but anyways um he goes out into zygarde i go out into serena he switches out predicting me and then i switch out into Milotic. Uh, right now we are not doing any like um plays i'm just like attacking what's in front of me he just goes for a flame charge just to get a little bit speed back and goes to uh plus one speed he clicks uh roost on my mirror coat and then he realizes all right i can't stay in anymore so i just cl keep clicking mirror coat and then i'll and then i'll be fine he subs up on me and what on my scald here and then I decide to, alright, I have to switch out here. I don't have anything to really beat this uh, 
thing on 1v1 because this is defensive and my special wall can't do anything to it. So a sacred sword does about half to it. I do trap kick that um, breaks the sub fairly easily and then I just go for another trap kick here on the Charizard. Lives it pretty well. Then I decide to do a U-turn here. This is a uh, because I know it's Charizard. Either he's going to go for Solar Beam or Fire Blast. That's the two options. I had a better ch option of going with U-turn, and for one, I don't don't really need the Serena more. It's a easy check for the Zygarde and uh, uh, Keldeo. There, it's an easy check for both of those. So that's about it. And I do have Coco to deal with both of them uh, to a extent with Zygarde at least. Uh, he decides to opt for the Solar Beam thinking I'll switch out into Milotic again. I decide just to click U-turn and then go into the Milotic. I should have went probably Coco and then just click T-Bolt or uh, D-Gleam if it killed at that range. Uh, he decides to roost up and I just click Mirror Coat. It failed. Did nothing. He goes out into... Uh, this thing, I just click mirror code again because I'm not risking anything. If he wants to predict my uh, U-turn, that's fine. I want to switch out because of the knockoff. I don't want anything happening to this uh, Rindo Berry. Uh, so Coco comes out here. He decides to switch out into Megagross, and I just click an easy D-Gleam. It kills everything on the field, or it does decent damage to everything. Nothing really wants to take it at this point. Then he goes out into Zygarde. If this thing was offensive, then it would kill with D-Gleam. I'm not chancing it. And now, once I click D-Gleam and then click the U-turn, he does now know I'm not Scarfed. So that does happen. I go out into Landris because this is my only check left to it. I just click uh, EQ here. No, uh, yeah, I click EQ here. He switches out into Togekiss, and I'm like, all right, I'll just switch out here into Mega Medicham because I know he's going to... Um, Actually, why did I do that? I, I d actually don't know why I did that. Coco was a better... I, I don't know why. He could easily air slash. Anyways, I do go out to Mega Man Jam, fake it out, and then I decide to... Alright, I'm going to just toss uh, rocks uh, rocks on top of them. He decides to switch out into uh, uh, Charizard Y, predicting, I think, Ice Punch. I think that's what he told me that he was predicting. Uh, since I went for Rock Slide, it killed it. Then he goes out into uh, Full Buster here, which is a Weavile, and then I switch it out into Milotic because I don't need the Rindo Berry anymore. It's perfectly fine just to get it knocked off. I click Scald because of um, a Burn Chance Plus. Why not? And then I click Ice Beam, almost killing the uh, uh, the the almost killing the uh, Togekiss that just switched in and. Yeah, he decides to switch out into Keldeo. I can't really do much to Keldeo. I do need to switch out right here because I can't do much. I go out into Mega Medicham for uh, no real reason. I didn't really want Coco to deal with it. And and uh, yeah, I had to break the sub first because I'm assuming he's going to sub that turn. So Coco, I don't want to take unnecessary damage. And um, uh, Medicham does go down there. I do go out into Coco without a... Uh, uh, without a uh, a sub up, so it's a fairly easy switch in just to go out into Coco and then click Eagling predicting the uh, Zygarde because I have been pretty pretty consistently just clicking uh, Thunderbolt. So I, I assume maybe he would think uh, to go out into Zygarde, but he does not. He goes out into Togekiss, and I just. Uh, click D Gleam does about thirty percent. Then I uh, then he uh, then I go for Thunderbolt, killing off it, killing off the uh, Togekiss. I I didn't want to risk a roll with D Gleam or anything. I just like all right. If he goes into Zygarde, it's fine. I can just click D Gleam that next turn. But after that, I decided like I I don't really want to. I don't really want to. I don't trust it to kill. So I just decided to switch out into Landorus because I did calc like a max HP, max special defense variant of Zygarde and it did like 30 to 80%. Now learning that that was, um, what was that? It was uh, Assault Vested, so I don't believe that would have killed. I got into Landorus because it's my only check as of right now. I go out and click EQ because it kills everything on the field. 
I think. It, it would do massive da damage to Keldeo. I think it would kill at this range with Zygarde, and it definitely killed uh, Weavile. So, it's a win-win-win at that point. Um, I go... He goes out into Zygarde, just clicks Extreme Speed, killing me off, which I'm completely fine with. I go out into Volcarona here, then just click the Z-Move. Uh, Bloom Doom, because uh, for, I was going to Quiver, but I didn't want to take unnecessary damage. So I decide to, alright, I'm just going to click Bloom Doom. It will kill from either uh, kill it or it will kill the Kel Keldeo, which I'm completely fine with. Because it, d it didn't matter at that point. And yeah, um... Yeah, the Keldeo goes down to Bloom Doom, and then I click Giga Drain, thinking, all right, that should do a decent enough damage to it, but I was so, 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 so wrong. That did 11%, so this is... I, I still didn't know at this point. He had to basically tell me it was, uh... It was, uh... Not... It was, a uh, Assault Busted. I, I, I didn't really calc this, because it was at the end of the game, and I assumed I won already. The burn... I did burn it, to be fair. And I uh, go out into Milotic because, I, I, for some reason, I just didn't trust Coco to be able to kill it. I don't know why. I just did not trust Coco to kill it. But I do go out into Milotic, click the final move, which is uh, Ice Beam, and I do kill it off here. It is a 2-0 victory against Reckless Bat here. And uh, it was a great game by uh, by uh, Nick. i uh, glad to play him. Great coach. Um, I, I hope I get to play him again because it, it kind of helps me judge my skill level a little bit because I'm still new to the format and playing Nick and doing well against him. Maybe even if I had the better matchup, I don't really think I did because uh, just some weird sw switches by uh, Nick and not pr like thinking I would predict different things I think kind of worked in my favor. So there's that. And me, like, honestly, like not sleeping on Zygarde definitely helped me win this match because I could have lost Coco round one of the match because I was thinking about doing it round one of the match just all right let's click the or round uh, round two of the match just clicking D gleam and killing it off but I didn't I'm glad I didn't and I uh, won 2-0 against Nick um and yeah that that is my week five match and our week six match will be versus Seabass a, a new coach that is taking over from Flame Horizon his um his uh, his link and all the uh, other uh, other new coaches will be linked down below, as, uh, along with all the uh, old coaches as well. So if you want to see uh, who dropped, who got picked up, because we had like six new coaches because we had like six people leave in like one week, which was insane. It was completely insane. <laughs> Pharynx, I blame you. I blame you, Pharynx. Anyways. Um, I'm glad to face Seabass next week. I hope you guys enjoyed this battle, and I will see you guys next week. Later.